Hi, I'm Lou with another episode of My Car Story. And today we have a special 300 car, the Chrysler 300 letter G. And with that, this convertible 1961 is the owner, Chrysler engineer, John. John, what's your last name? John Beejan. John Beejan. And John, how long have you had this one? I've had the car since 93. 93, member of the family. Definitely. And being an engineer, you said you had to get the Chrysler letter G because the engine an engineering marvel, the, the uh, 413 cross ram. Engineering marvel. Let's go right to the car, shall we? So with this engineering marvel, let's take a look at the overall side of the car. And I'll let you take this one in because as the sun's starting to come out on it, that's wonderful. Wow. Okay, so let's uh, move in on some of the details. The letter G. The all important wing, fin, the wonderful hubcaps. Now, John, you shared that uh, you wanted a convertible. And with that, on this car, and I just want to feature that windshield that goes around and wraps. There's something unique about this car, not only just the fact that it's a really, really cool car. And the headlights had that angle to them. It's the happy face. The happy face. Share with me on this happy face. You weren't so happy with this one. How long did it take you to restore it? This took 15 years of my life to restore. 15 years. Were there moments where you said enough is enough or how did this happen? There were moments when I walked out of the garage and didn't want to see this thing for several weeks. <laughs> but uh, eventually I came back to my senses and uh, pursued this thing to the end. So uh, you see the product of uh, two parts cars plus the original and this to, is uh, to get to this point and this is the first video of this car first video of this car and uh, this car I've driven it uh, about 20,000 miles since I've restored it what's the reaction when people see it people think that it's the Batmobile <laughs> they're looking for Adam West to come out of the door with a cape but uh, there, because there's so few of these cars around, nobody knows what they are. Even in Detroit area here, nobody. Uh, it, it's it's uh, it's quite interesting how few people really really know what the letter cars are. But uh, I take it out. I take it to several events, and uh, it's usually out on the streets, uh, burning gas. Let's go see this tail of this Batmobile. And there's a reason that would make sense to call it that, because as you can see by the tail. That's easy to see why they think it's the Batmobile. Wow, that's wonderful. Now there's kind of a uniqueness to the taillights here. Yeah, in 61, the, in 60, the taillights were up here as a boomerang and the fin, and the backup light was down here. Uh, in 61, they reversed them for uh, just to do something different with the styling. So uh, backup light now in the fin and the tail light uh, down below. And those boomerangs in 60 were um, hot rodder dreams. And then they got uh, a little confusing here. There's this little lip there. Let's uh, take a look in the trunk, shall we? We have some treats in the trunk, along with that wonderful sound. overall trunk. Look there, I see the power antenna. And then we have, what is this book here? This is the dealer uh, book. It, it only shows specifications on the general car. It does not have a lot of, of 300 in here, but it does show, uh, it has the colors. Colors. And it has the, the fabric, fabrics. Uh, 
of the other cars. Matter of fact, you can see little speckles in there, almost like uh, stars at night. There's some more of those speckles. I get that close. Might be able to see those speckles shine. There we go in the blue, you can see some of those speckles. You notice the seat shape of that car. And here's the actual 300G period correct ad. And then there's this sandblaster. piece there. This is the actual brochure for the car. Before I show you that though, I just want to take you, there's a picture of the car and the threading the needle. And there's this time period correct. man brand article and as we put those all together there we'll show you the actual brochure a rare car for a rare kind of man and as you open that it shows that the 300g hard top now the interesting thing with this book these are all drawings. The wonderfully happy people. This is not a drawing, clearly a photograph. Another photograph. Drawing America's Grand Touring Automobile, the 300G convertible, which is, of course, what we're looking at. The heart of the G. Here's that engineering marvel that John was sharing with us. We'll slow enough so you can see that. Another wonderful drawing. The G. Just meditate on that for a second. And then one thing I thought that was pretty cool, the back is just with black, but they decided, besides the special equipment on this one, to show all of them. Here's the heritage of the hot blooded, the 300, the B, the C, D, E, F, and our G with, as John said, the happy face. So we're going to close that. Let's go to the interior, shall we? I'll give you an overall shot of that dash. Open this up. Thank you, John. Now that's a wonderful panel, because if you could see this, and I'm going to show this from the side, it has a smoothness to it. There's no grip there. It's just exactly where you keep your hand, and you pull this lever back to open it up. Now do these seats do something unique? These seats are swivel. Easy entry and exit. Now how many years did they do that? Uh, I believe three, 59 through uh, 61. So this is the last year for the swivel seats. Okay, let me 
have some tags here. The separate buckets in the back. How cool is that? I love that 300 emblem right in the center that sticks out. I mean, look at the... There you go. You can see how much it sticks out. They're making it very obvious that you're in a 300. There's, there's the seat there. Well, tell me about this pod. This, this is, is kind of legendary. So it's known as the Astrodome Dash. Uh, so there, there are no bulbs in it. It runs off uh, 220 volts AC, and uh, it illuminates the needles and the uh, lettering on the gauges. So at nighttime, it looks like a spaceship because everything's, all the gauges are in space. Wow. Can we turn it on? I don't know if we'll be able to get. No. Okay, we'll shut that off. That radio is classy. That's a uh, seven button radio, so that's a seek scan radio. Uh, the RPM's position, someplace hopefully you'll never look at them. <laughs> You're looking down and going forward. You got your map light. Your rear window, your dome light, your antenna, and your day nightmare there too, if you can see. Let's take a look at that engineering marvel, shall we? Wow. That's pretty cool. So in essence, this was to give you a supercharged effect. The long runners are great for torque. This, for, for a car that's almost 5,000 pounds, uh, this engine has a lot of torque. Okay. Let's, uh, let's turn it on when we do. I'm seeing the dual horns here. Let's beep the horn. I just want to hear that for a moment. That's okay. And we'll start her up. Son of a gun. It's got a little little sound to it. It, uh, it likes to go. Yeah, if people like what they see, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell, you can see all the cars. John, what a treat. First time videoing, correct? Correct. And thanks so much for being on My Car Story. Thank you.